So this, where we're standing, is Mount Ahud. That whole thing is Mount Ahud. Okay? And a few things about this mountain. Number one, the Prophet sallallahu called it one of the mountains of Al-Jannah. It's one of the mountains that held the Prophet of Allah. And it's a mountain, a Nabi, a Prophet, a Siddiq, a man of truth, the Shani Dain, and two martyrs. The Siddiq, obviously, was Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. And the Prophet Sallallahu was prophesizing the martyrdom of Umar and Uthman, may Allah be pleased with them. Another thing though, just so you can give an appreciation for this huge thing, this is what the Prophet Sallallahu said, when one of you prays Salat al-Janazah, the reward of Salat al-Janazah is the size of Uhud in good deeds. But if a person prays the Janazah and then he follows the Janazah, did you guys stop hearing me? Can you still hear me? Okay. Okay. All right. Shalom Alright. Um, the Prophet Sallallahu said, if you pray the Janazah and then you follow the Janazah, then you would have two Kirat. You would have two uh, mountains of good deeds. So that's one way to visualize this mountain as well. Another thing the Prophet Sallallahu famously told one of his companions, Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when Abdullah bin Mas'ud, who was a very small man, one day he was uh, blown into a tree by, because, of his, his, because of how small he was and his legs were exposed. And the companions laughed at his legs and the Prophet said, what are you laughing about? And they said, Ya Rasulullah, the thinness, the smallness of his legs. And the Prophet said, you're laughing at this man's legs, but I swear by Allah on the day of judgment, both of his legs will be the size of Uhud. Wow. And so he was talking about the Mizan on the scale of good deeds. So that's another way to visualize this huge mountain. Lastly, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that the tooth of a person in hellfire is the size of Uhud. So the punishment in hellfire, the, the, we are bigger on the day of judgment. The tooth of a person on, in the hellfire, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, is the size of Uhud. So he used to use this mountain for many different analogies, now in history. One time actually in the time of Uthman and the companions remembered picking up the bodies from the Shuhada of Uhud and they looked like they were just fled up and somehow you could read the accounts of the people as they, as they saw the bodies of the Shuhada of Uhud, that their blood was still fresh. Wow. 1400 years later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserved them. But more than that, their memory, the legacy of these people, subhanAllah, all these people that come all the time to visit them and to make dua for them. These were the people who sacrificed everything for Islam. And one of the ulama said very rightfully, he said that in Badr they learned La ilaha illallah, in Uhud they learned Muhammad Rasulullah. Hmm. In Uhud they learned what it meant to put everything on the line for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to be pleased with them and to have mercy on them. We ask Allah to reward them for the sacrifices they made for us so that Islam could reach us, so that we could also be connected to the one that they love enough to die for. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them and be pleased with them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us with them in Jannah al Firdaus. Allahumma ameen. We'll head now to the to the graves, inshallah ta'ala, where we'll simply say the dua of Ziyad al Qubur. It's, uh, it's written on the signs outside, inshallah, in multiple languages and transliterations. So you can say the dua. And you can make a personal dua for them as well as you see them, inshallah ta'ala. So we'll head there as well, inshallah. I'll take questions after because it's very hot. I don't want to hold everybody. So let's move towards the drink drug.
they're all they're all together here. And then the other six is not. No, you see the six? There are two great two big Let's, let's head back to the bus and shut buses, inshallah. Let's try to head back. Okay. 